Good Sunday, everybody. Welcome to Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. We certainly uh, welcome you to another three-day series of shaving that we do on Sunday, Mondays, and Tuesdays. Uh, today, um, our software will be a soap that's probably one of my favorites, and it's definitely my favorite from this artisan, and that's uh, Mystic Water Jasmine. Uh, it is absolutely the, and this is the older version, but it's still just a wonderful soap. Uh, Michelle makes tremendous soaps, uh, good, good, uh, uh, fragrance, uh, SOS scale fragrances. And probably this and the coconut lime verbena are probably my two favorites, but I'm running very low on this. So we'll be getting some more. As far as our brush today, we'll be using the Sorrentino Brushworks, uh, Barzini, uh, with the glow in the dark rim and, uh, just a beautiful TSC brush that he did for me. Uh, for the aftershave, we're going to be using Via Barbaria uh, by Omega, the serum, uh, which has got some hyaluronic acid. And we're doing a kind of a, a twin fragrance today because these are two uh, of my favorites. Uh, this one is new, and it's becoming a very fast favorite uh, favorite of mine, and it's got geranium and jasmine, so it matches the soap well. And then the other one they don't make anymore because... Pen Halligans, I hope you're listening. Uh, they take the best scents and screw them up. And I don't. And somebody had told me, I think it was Doug Keister, told me that you know it's because a lot of people tag them on their reviews and they watch it. And but uh, Savoy Steam, they do make another iteration of this now. But this was one of their bigger bottles, uh, and it's just fantastic, um, just wonderful. So that's our shave for today. And then of course we're going to be using a Feather ASD2. So I hope everybody's having a blessed Sunday. Uh, I do apologize. We will not be having the old guy's Zoom call today. Uh, I've got some commitments uh, outside the house that uh, we won't be home in time. So we will continue those uh, Zoom calls next Sunday. And of course, Wednesday, Chad has his. So as you can see, the, the Mystic Water, there's been, you know, in the past, people have said that they've had issues lathering Mystic Water. Um, I think KJ and I were two of the very early people that really jumped on board with uh, with her soaps. And uh, she did adjust the formula a little bit, but I find the old formula just as wonderful. Very slick, um, easy to lather. Now, of course, you know, anything with the cashmere knot is fairly easy to, to lather. So if you haven't tried uh, Michelle's soaps, uh, you're doing yourself a disservice. They're wonderful. In fact, I think uh, one of my one of my good friends, a long-term member, Celestino, what we call our guru of the shave of the day forum, or thread rather, pretty much exclusively uses um, Mystic Water. Uh, it will take on quite a bit of water, but it's super, super slick. Uh, Michelle is also a vendor here, so if you've not already done so, please uh, check out her website and uh, get a few soaps because they are tremendous. So what else is going on? Sharon and I celebrated our anniversary yesterday. And uh, there's a Mexican restaurant. It's about 35 miles from here. And you would think why, when there's a Mexican restaurant five minutes from my house, why would we go 40 miles to get a Mexican dinner. Well, we've been going there 
Well, Sharon's been going there for over 40 years, and I've been going there for at least 30. In fact, she introduced me to it. And it's in a little mining town, well, ex-mining town, because the mine that's closed down, uh, called Mammoth, Arizona. And it's called La Casita. And it, uh, it's been owned by the same family. Um, and they, I think they have one or two restaurants in some of the other smaller towns around, like Globe and uh, Hayden and Kearney, which are all small mining towns. And they've owned them and been open since the 40s, I think. And they're just wonderful. Um, it's not, it's not trendy. It's not high class. It's just good family style Mexican food, Sonoran Mexican food. Prices are reasonable. So we decided to go last night. What I didn't know is I was driving up there and Sharon had found out that they were only doing takeout only. You know, obviously driving 40 miles for takeout wasn't going to work, but they did have some outside outside seating. Um, so we were fortunate enough that we went inside, ordered, waited, and then sat out on the patio that they have. Um, now, on the way up there, thankfully, we went through some horrendous thunderstorms, which we need, and it was kind of fun. And then as we got there, this looks over the San Pedro Valley and the San Pedro River, which, yes, in Arizona, it does run. Um, and we're able to watch thunderstorms come over the, the San Pedro Valley, uh, from Oracle and the, the Catalinas and had a nice dinner. So that was a nice, a nice evening and we celebrated our 30th. So that was kind of nice as well. So, anyways, back to the Mystic Water. Just super slick. Easy to use. I decided to forego a straight shave today because, as I said, we've got things that uh, we, we're going to be doing today that are going to take us out of town. I'm glad everybody is slowly but surely getting their brushes from the SV. Wow. Dang it. Uh... Anyhow, as far as the three shaves with the, it's so slick. And both the residual slickness and the, both with water and without water is just superb just a tremendous shave so once again if you have not tried mystic water uh, you're doing yourself a disservice it's wonderful wonderful stuff leaves the face very moisturized feels soft on the skin um, I remember going way back, uh, KJ was still deployed at the time, and uh, he was the first one that um, I had contacted him when we first met via the internet and uh, asked him about Mystic Water, and I think that was one of the very first soaps I purchased when I got uh, back into wet shaving. and. Uh, I've bought her soaps ever since. Just a wonderful feeling soap, and that this the the strength of scent is what really what really I like from her stuff is that that floral jasmine feeling just sticks around uh, on a regular basis. And uh, Nurse Dave the other day or yesterday was talking about views and. Uh, and so I checked out the analytics, and yeah, I agree. There's a few guys on the forum that watch my video all the way through. There's a few that don't, and you guys know who you are. And that's okay. You know, we appreciate just actually even taking a gander um, at that as well. Okay, so we're going to use the Omega Aquae. Of the, and this just requires two tiny, tiny squares. 
And this has got a very light, I would say an oceanic citrus. Um, you know, it's got a very watering, you know, um, no, I don't want to say beachy vibe because that's not it, but a very, very aqua type uh, type flavor to it. And uh, just wonderful. Now we're going to follow that up with the Savoy Steam. This one you got to be careful with because it's got a huge open and no reducer. So your thumb becomes your reducer. Now this is a, an EDC, but I use it as an aftershave. In fact, I've actually taken it and put it on a hot, on hot towel because it is very much... To the, like the traditional steam baths that you get in the Far East or in Britain. It's got that that smell to it. Oh, it's wonderful. We'll be using Menon uh, Shave Talc today. Let's just dry it down a little bit. Oh, Kyle version today. thing I like about the men and shave towel is, well, it's real talc, number one. Number two, um, it's got a very, very neutral uh, smell to it. Uh, very much almost like um, aqua velva, but not, you know, not quite as strong. Okay, and then we're going to be using the Royal Lime. And today I'm not going to be using the, the atomizer, so I'll be a little bit careful. Okay, and that's it. Okay, Cadre, well, thanks for joining uh, Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home for a Sunday shave. We certainly appreciate it. We hope you have a blessed Sunday, and we will see you on the farms. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.